I'm noticing that everybody is starting to realize or say that they say that they come from an alien race. Um, like it really hit me when I started seeing white people online saying that they asked our command. Um, which is true, you know, all of them are not. Some of them just uh, Yakub's experiments. But I want to say this. It's all the same thing because all of it is connected. Um, you have the 12 black elders that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught about. And the main elder being Allah or being the king. The 12 elders are really scientists who predict the future and write Qurans and Bibles which um, which dictates the past, present, and future of the world, and they base that off of the condition of the world and the vibrations of the world. And they do it every 24,000 years, they write a Quran, which is in alignment with the circumference of the planet Earth, which is Twenty four thousand eight hundred and ninety six miles, approximately twenty five thousand miles. It says in the lost Muslim lessons number two. Who made the Holy Quran or Bible? How long ago? Will you tell us why does Islam renew her history every twenty five thousand years? The answer. The Holy Quran or Bible is made by the original people, which is the black man, which is the 12 elders or the 12 scientists, which the number one scientist who, um, who's the best in science and mathematics, who's the best ruler, the best one fit, he will be the Allah or the king. Okay, uh, we're back reading from the book. The original people, made by the original people, who is Allah, the supreme being, or black man of Asia. The Quran will expire in the year 25,000, 9,080 years from the date of this writing. Okay, um, so you had Yakub. He was not the Allah or the king, but he was a great scientist on his own. But he was more of the disagreeable, as they call it, the negative side of things. Uh, making his own way. And they couldn't stop him. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad alayhi salam teaches in a message to the black man that Yakub was building his own race in um, Saudi Arabia, what is called Saudi Arabia today. But the system that was in play, the righteous system that was in play, arrested him because they didn't want him doing that on the land. But even though that they arrested him, they knew that he was a top scientist. He just was a disagreeable. So they knew that they weren't going to be able to stop him. So what they did, they just exiled him, gave him some land, and told him, take your people with you and just get out of here. Basically, to put it in a nutshell. He went to uh, Patmos. Um, that's like the region of Turkey today. Nonetheless, he created the white man by selective breeding. Over a course of 600 years, breeding them out, he, made the, he had the black man, he made him brown, he made him red, then he made him yellow, then he made him white. Yakub, Yakub died at 150 years old. He didn't live to see his creation, but his people, the Yakub tribe, carried on the works and the tradition. And 6,000 years ago, you got the white man existing. Now, when you go into the 12 elders, the 12 elders and the 12 scientists that the, that the Holy, um, that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad speak about, it correlates that with the Holy Scriptures of the Quran and the Supreme Lessons and the Lost Muslim Lessons. They are in alignment with the Anunnaki. If anybody know about the Anunnaki, you got, you got the Anunnaki. 
ones who came or fell from heaven down to earth. Key in Anunnaki is the risk word for earth. Risk is the planet that the Anunnaki's came from that created human beings as we know it today. Anu, which was the father, Enki, which was the son, and Lil, which was the son, Ninti, which was the daughter. Enki and Ninti came together and created the human beings so that they could mine gold because Anunnaki came here in the first place to get the gold and other minerals from this planet so that they can help protect their solar system because their planet was dying due to war, radiation, etc., etc. But I'll save all that for another video. I'm just trying to break down right here, right now, and saying that all this stuff is the same thing because people now are claiming to be aliens and white people with the ash dark command and certain black people's picking their groups of what they want to be, what they want to be connected to. But these teachers was already around. At first it was more of a racial thing, now it's more of an alien thing, but it's still racial. So, not to get too far off topic, stay with me. Anunnaki came down here, Enki and Nancy made the human beings, they made a worker race. Because they, was, they had their own Anunnaki people, the lower class Anunnaki, working their minds and getting the gold, but I mean, they, was, they felt they was far more too intelligent and they rebelled against that. So, the best thing to do instead of, you know, dividing the house up, dividing the, the Anunnaki up, they created a race to do it. And this is where you got the humans. And this is why the human system is so big on monopoly and work. And you look at the workforce, all humans do is work. Work, 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 because they all work a race. They was born to do this. But at the same time, a gene was placed into them so they could be consciously aware and able to do this type of work and be smart enough to take care of business, if you will, if you, if you can understand how I'm trying to explain this to you. They gave them a gene from the Anunnaki, which is the gene of, let's call it the gene of enlightenment. Now, it's rare that a human tap into this. So a human being is only designed for one of two things, either to work and die or to become enlightened and live freedom, freedom, live through freedom and transcend which is what all beings in the universe are made for, but the Anunnaki, the, Anunnaki, the Anunnaki purposely and artificially created the human beings to work for them. So that's why it's so hard for human beings to become woke or conscious. But when they do, they do. So, the Posanians works for the Anunnaki. They doing abductions and bringing DNA, and they, they, they working for the Anunnaki. To keep it short and simple. But the Prosanians are the ones who made the Astro Command. The Astro Command is basically the white race aliens. So understand that on an earthly scale, you got the 12 scientists, you got Yakub, and then you got the white race, who was made 6,000 years ago, who was ruling the planet through racism and whatnot on Earth. But when you look at it on a grand scale, you got the Anunnaki, then you got the Prosanians, then you got the Astro Command, which is the same thing as the blacks, the whites. It's the same thing. So long story short, it's all the same. So it's all still a racial thing. It's all still an identity type of thing. And I had to make this video because I just was inspired because of all the white people saying they asked our command and I'm studying saying different type of woke black people, you know, saying they this or saying they that. And, uh, and basically, it's, it's all the same thing. It all go right back to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad alayhi salam and basically Malachi Z. York. Them the top two, to me, in my opinion, who was bringing the knowledge. Uh, of course, Noble Drew Ali brought what he called Islamism to North America. 
but that that was just like I guess the icebreaker because I don't he didn't make a uh, strong enough impact. Honorable Elijah Muhammad made the greatest impact. Malachi Z. York just broke everything, broke everything down to the science, to the like he broke everything. Now he got all the answers. Anything that Honorable Elijah Muhammad al Islam left out, Malachi Z. York got the answer to. So it, it worked itself out. I mean, Noble Drew Ali broke the ice. Later, Honorable Elijah Muhammad orchestrated things and created a system so that people can have a place to come to, books to read, be motivated, be aware of themselves and the, and the sciences of man. Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad al Islam spoke about the Martians, he spoke about the aliens, he spoke, spoke about the UFOs, but he wasn't, he was the middle, the middle piece. After Malachi Ziyot came, Malachi Ziyot was basically the, the third piece or the end piece and just, you know, expanded. And I'm the seal. I'm sorting everything out because it's a lot of information. We got all this information. Now things need to be sorted out and put in place. So I just wanted to let y'all know that it's all the same thing. Peace. Now, if any of y'all out there want to show me love, donate to my cash app, FB Lil Film, for better videos and support. Got a lot to say. Got a lot to teach. Show me love.